So good morning and welcome and thanks for joining us on another day of our Lourdes virtual pilgrimage. And I'm here joining you today in front of the grotto here in each core. And we're here today because we're going to be having mass today from the grotto in Lourdes today at 12 o'clock. So we'd be delighted if you could join us then again. And I think the grotto here in each core is so significant and it's such a beautiful place to be and to visit. So I hope you take that opportunity at some stage to visit it when you can. And I know it's a virtual pilgrimage this year and I know it's different and I know you've experienced a few days of it already, but there was an advert on TV recently and the tagline at the end was, we don't always have to be together to be close. And I thought it was a lovely line, I have to say in the context of our virtual pilgrimage this year. We don't always have to be together to be close. And I think we can be close this week as we've traveled on our Obla pilgrimage together. Um, and I was thinking about what I wanted to share with you today, say about Lourdes myself and from my own experience of Lourdes and I was reflecting on it. And it's, for, it's very hard to share one's experience with Lourdes because I'm often asked you know, how could I sum up Lourdes? And it's very difficult. But for me, more than anything, Lourdes is a place of wall to wall of love and good. So wall to wall of good, and that is between the bats, between the Akai, between the wall of the Rosho, to any of the basilicas. It's wall to wall good. And what I, what I mean by that is, I experience good, I witness good all the time while I'm in Lourdes. And it's the one thing that brings me back the good I experience in Lourdes and indeed witness. It's such a special place and such a, become such a special place to me. And I know it's become such a special place to the people who travel there annually with the Oblets and indeed with any pilgrimage or anyone that visits Lourdes at all. It becomes a special place because we allow it to touch us in some way, shape or form. And as I said, I'm often asked that question, how would I sum up Lourdes? And for me, it's, it's love in action. There are three words for me that would sum up Lourdes, love in action. And I see that love all the time. And for me, Lourdes is the sort of place that lives the gospel more than any other place I've ever experienced. Why? Because when Jesus came, he brought the people from the margins of society and brought them to the front and center. And I'll give you a little example of that in Lourdes. When we have the Grotto Mass in Lourdes, normally in the morning, and it's nice and cold in the morning, that's the first thing that springs to my mind when I think of the Grotto Mass. But we bring our guests front and center of the Grotto all the time. They're there and we take care of them and we have them there and we make sure our guests, the people who travel, our pilgrims, have say enough blankets and we have them front and center and it's always one of those things people are always running back to the kai we need this we need this and we need this because our guests need to be front and center and that's what Lourdes is all about bringing people from the margins of society possibly the elderly the unwell the less able-bodied and we bring them to the middle to the very center and the Grosha Mass is a perfect example of that, bringing them to the front and center. So for me, you know, that is living out the gospel. That is doing exactly what Jesus has asked us to do. That for me is love in action. And as I said, the Grosha Mass is a perfect example of that for me. And that's why I enjoy the Grosha Mass so much. And I hope you enjoy it today as we gather in the shadow of Mary, in the very shadow of Mary, as we come together later on today for our Mass at the Grosso. And thank you for joining us this morning.